So one other option, if you're setting this up for a relative who maybe can't move it around or plug and unplug things, um, is you can use this as an uninterruptible power supply. And so you leave it plugged into the power and then you plug the fridge into it. Um, and ideally for something like this, I'd probably put it on top of the fridge out of the way. And so that guy would go to the wall outlet for the fridge and then the fridge would hook into this. And so it charges the battery and it also outputs power to the refrigerator and it'll just run the fridge continuously. Um, if the wall power goes out it'll start using it in the battery power um, and it'll run it until the battery power runs out so if the wall power comes back before that happens this guy will basically um, you'll never notice that the power was lost or at least the fridge will never notice the power was lost and it'll charge the battery back up and be ready for the next use so if you want to use this with the app for extra control features you turn it on and for the first couple of minutes after it's turned on the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth symbol will flash. So you have to connect it to the phone app while those guys are flashing. Now, if you want to use this in an uninterruptible power supply mode, there's some settings I recommend ch changing. Um, so first of all, the fast charging mode, you probably don't need that. So if you don't want loud found noises, you can change it to quiet charging mode. It'll charge slower, but it won't run the fan as much. Um, so if you're not worried about how fast it recharges after the power comes back on, you can turn that on or not. The ones you definitely want to look at is energy saver mode, um, and it will automatically turn off if it doesn't detect a load. So you can he see here the refrigerator went down to a low power mode. It's not running the display on the front, it's not running the compressor, and it draws so little power the Jackery might think that nothing is connected. Um, so we need to set the low power auto turn off. So typically that's not a problem. Most refrigerators will turn on every two hours and, and do some things, but you might consider putting that to a higher number like 12 or 24 hours or just never turn off, especially if you're not using it on a refrigerator. If you're using it on something like a television set, um, something that might be on and off some of the times, you definitely want to turn that to either 24 hours or never turn off. And then there's also the auto off time. Um, um, and I suspect that that only triggers if the energy isn't detected, but I'm not certain how that works, so I'm just going to put that to never so I don't have to worry about this guy turning itself off. So by default, these come in full use mode where they'll basically charge to 100% and use all the way down to zero. And that's great if you're doing, you know, hurricane backup or something like that. But for maximum battery life, you don't want to leave them charged at 100% all the time. So you can either, you know, charge it to 80% and put it away. Or if you're going to be using it like an uninterruptible power supply, you can go into the app settings under battery settings and um, this battery saving mode will make it so that it charges up to 85, goes down to 15%. Um, and that'll give you like 30% longer lifetime of the longevity of the battery. Um, and so if you were going to leave this plugged in charging all the time and then have like your refrigerator or TV plugged into it so that any power outage, it just starts running directly off this guy, um, battery saver mode's the way you'd want to use that. Now, if you know a hurricane's coming soon, um, you can flip it to full use and it'll charge up to 100 and be fully ready. But for day to day, just, you know, as a, an emergency backup, you probably wanna use the battery saving mode. Now, if you have connected the device to Wi-Fi, which I kind of recommend, in the settings, it's possible to share this device with somebody else. Um, and so essentially, somebody else can have a Jackery app and you can scan a QR code on their phone and share access to this device. They don't get access to all of the useful control panel settings, but they do get to see the status of the device. So if you're setting this up for somebody else, you can set it up on their phone, but share access with yourself. And so that way, as long as their internet's working, you can check on the device, make sure it's charged up, make sure it's working. You can see, you know, is it putting output power to the refrigerator, that type of thing.